What is up guys from the Clash Royale universe, in today's video we are going to be showcasing the battle rap because it's been more than 2 years since the last update and I'm pretty sure things have changed overall with this card. So, welcome to the 2021 edition of how to use the battle rap like a pro. So, let's get this started. The battle ram is a rare 4 elixir card when placed down it targets buildings then releases the barbarians once it has connected to x building. At tournament standard the battle ram has 756 hit points plus 555 from the 2 barbarians that come out of it. Which means it's going to take 18 exact hits from the princess tower. Therefore if left alone this card will do 2189 hit points to the tower. To put this in another perspective, that's not one rocket you're shooting at the tower, nor two or three. It's five total rockets you're shooting at the tower. So this card only costing four elixir is a heavy hater if left ignored. The battle ram can be found at arena three and up, so not much movement has changed to obtain this card even after two years. The battle ram is an excellent unit when it comes to rushing the opponent. Because keep in mind this card builds up speed like the prince, therefore making the battle room connect to the tower faster and dealing double the damage if it's left to build up speed that is. But when it comes to defending, it's rarely seen, but when seen, it can actually be very helpful. Like let's say there's a mini P.E.K.K.A charging at your tower and you have nothing in rotation except the battle ram. You can use the battle ram as bait to make the mini P.E.K.K.A follow it to the other side while both towers are shooting at it. And that's just one scenario that makes the battle ram stick out when it comes to defending. Now let's get into what cards help out the battle ram in most situations. Number 1 being spells. Spells are super helpful when it comes to getting the battle ram connected to the tower. I say this because you can use any spell and it most likely will help the battle room connect to the tower. At number 2 we got the heal spirit. The heal spirit is also a very helpful card because it does damage to troops that are in the way of the battle room and it heals any of your troops in this case being the battle room making sure it has just enough health to connect to the tower. Number 3 we have the firecracker. Thanks to the firecracker's range it can safely shoot from afar while dealing multiple hits to opponents. Then at number 4 we got the dark prince. I would say the dark prince is a great combo when paired up with the battle room thanks to its splash damage as well as its charge build up to do double the damage. Once again, I have a personal deck that uses the battle ram. This deck is a one of a kind. If you want to learn how to use it, then I recommend you check in the description down below. But other than that, let's move on with the outro. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and why not subscribe while you're already down there. If I forgot to mention a tip, make sure to comment down below because it helps me and it also helps the community as well. But other than that, till next time.